Hi friends, today we are going to talk about this new report that is there in SAP as well as S4 HANA, but it's very useful, is the payment history report, vendor payment history report. So if I double click on it, okay, and here if I put company code, okay, so I'll just put the company code and I can see what are the payment that has gone. So I'll just get see and these are all the payment day, payment that has gone see so here you can see the vendor this is 264 days if i double click on it does it do anything uh well it doesn't do so let me get it in a t format so there is this place where if i scroll down and i can put it in uh, simplification separation required so if i do this no not this one sorry it would be this option so if I go here and I put simplified presentation and I execute okay now it's a simplified representation you can see this is the uh, this is the vendor number okay and if I double click on it okay it will probably it will take me to FBL 1N and here you can see what are the things so this, if you see, this is the invoice number, okay, and there's no clearing document, so it has not been paid yet, okay, and here, if you see, let me go into this, and we can find the, so the baseline date is this, so it needs to be paid 162019, so it's pretty old, so let me see in which bucket it falls under, so this one is $288. Two zero from so what about this two sixty four so that means this is in the this is in the past so let me see two sixty four is this two twenty four dollars sixty seven so let's see this one so this is twelve thirty one twenty nine there is no there's no payment terms here is the terms it's thirty one days. 31 days 46 percentage so here so it it falls so from 41 to 80 that is these are past due okay so anything which is past due is showing here so let me see what about some of these we'll just pick one here suppose this one 13,000 and we we'll go here here you can see one two thousand thirteen thousand total and if i double click on each it's one one two thousand this is way past so and it doesn't show here that's why because it's way past from 81 from 100 that's from two zero to thirty thousand so it's already due so this has something so this is very useful report especially to find which are the payments that are pending and how will you know whether the, the payment is pending so if I double click on this here they will be having so if you click on this this is the invoice number there's no real clearing document associated with it so I think here it was not showing but some of this was showing a clearing document so if I double click on this so this is the vendor, this is the GL, this is the document number, and these are well well in the past. Okay, so these are all D. So this is very helpful in finding what are the you know uh, invoices that are past due and all those things that you need to pay. Okay, so this is uh, you should be using this on and off every you know the constable team and other SAP end users who deal with vendor payment should be using this again the transaction code i just want to make sure is system status i go here okay and i put this and this is transaction code s underscore alr underscore eight seven zero one zero zero three five so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great